for Live with Tom Dowd, and he played four years at Plymouth State. Tell me, what do you think about Brian Scalabrini, that bag of donuts that they all talk about? <laughs> well, uh, I think he's definitely a very smart guy. He's stayed in the league for 11 years, but I don't think he deserved a roster spot. Really? Okay. Um, I'm challenging Scalabrini because uh, as a Boston guy, I've had to watch him on the TV going at the end of the games and just make an absolute fool out of himself. He goes in there, he's not limbered up, he's running around, people are blown by him, it's just really hard to watch. And then the fans give him the scal chant and uh, he's like a glorified mascot, if you will. What? Go. I mean, the guy's in the NBA and he's built like a like a gosh darn marshmallow. Well, what can I say about that ginger? He can really, uh, he really can't hack it with the best ones. But uh, let me be honest with you. How tall are you? I'm six foot seven. Really, six foot seven, Scal? Can you go up against a six foot seven guy? I don't think so. <laughs> Some people call Scal Brini small feet. Now I've heard a rumor about this. What do you think of this whole thing? <laughs> I've never heard that. Well, Let's I, well, I think that maybe Tom Dow could probably stomp him, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, I will give him credit. He definitely is a smart guy. I mean, Thibodeau, Thibodeau took him right under his wing. I'm sure he's good at talking out defense, stuff like that, and ratting people out if they do anything <laughs> wrong in the team, you know? Well, who is Thibodeau, we must ask? I don't know who he is. I've followed sports all my damn life. Do you know who he is, Scal? I bet you don't. <laughs> Ryan Scalabrini, I think you must realize that this guy is challenging you to the floor. The ball's in your court. Now back to you on the uh, on the other end of the line. <laughs> <laughs> that was